Hello. Today we're going to make an escape room using a variable in Twine. I'm going to call this escape room. Escape room. Um, so I make the new story. I've put this in dark mode um, just for some variety. In my initial passage, I'm going to um, describe the room. This is a really simple escape room, um, so I'm going to keep this pretty simple. You are in a, a small room. Um, there is a door and a box. Uh, I'm also going to rename the passage from Untitled Passage to Room because I'm going to need to be able to come back to here. Um, additionally, I want there to actually be some links, so I'm going to link door and box. Those are the interesting things in this room. Um, since it's an escape room, right now if we go to the door, currently the door should be locked. The door is locked. Um, and I want to give the person a chance to go back to the room without using the undo button. So I say, um, give them the option go back to the room. That's a link, room. Notice that autocomplete is available. Um, right, so you can see the double arrow here. So I can go from the room to the door, from the door to the room. Um, the box is uh, interesting. The box is where whatever it is that's going to let us escape from this room is. Um, right. So you go and look at the box. You open the box and find I'm going to use a key, but you could choose something else if you wanted to be creative here. Um, and once again, I'm going to give people the option to go back to the room. Now, if I test this out, I'm going to find that I can go to the door, I can go back to the room, I can go to the box, um, but nothing else changes, right? I, I, I maybe have the key, but um, it doesn't actually work to unlock the door. So this is where we're going to power up our programming with a variable. Um, we're going to set a variable to keep track of whether we have a key. Um, the way you make a variable in Twine is you're just going to set it. We're going to use a macro. Um, the macro for making a variable or changing a variable uh, is set, so parentheses, set, colon, next to L. Um, I'm going to close the parentheses and then I'm going to go back in with my arrow key inside the set. Um, I need to give my variable a name. In order to distinguish variables from just words, uh, Twine uses the dollar sign, so that's shift 4 up near R. Do that with your index finger, um, if you're touch typing, set dollar key, I'm going to set make the variable name key because it's telling us whether we have a key or not, to one. We have one key. Yay. Um, right. If I run this in test mode and I go to the box, I'll actually see that key is the number one after I do this. And when I go back to the room, key stays as the number one. So that lets me check, have I been to the box and taken the key? Um, of course, now that I've set that, I want to be able to check it, right? If I go to the door and I have the key, I want to give the person a chance to unlock the door. So uh, the macro to check a variable is if. So, parentheses, if, colon, close parentheses, go back inside. Um, we need to check if dollar key, because again, we're looking not at the word, but at the um, variable, is one. Twine doesn't have a then command. Um, Twine uses what's called a hook to do this, which is a single, single square brackets. Notice how those are underlined, and if I type in gibberish, they stay underlined. Um, all of that is grouped together, and it's saying, 
if key is 1, show this. Um, actually, let's test that out, right? I go, and I'm just going to test this, right? I go to the box, I have key, I go to the room, I go back to the door. Hey, I'm seeing this SLGFDD key smash. So, um, let's put in an actually useful message. You unlock the door. Congratulations. Congratulations, you have escaped. Right. Simple escape room. Um, testing it out. Been using test because that lets us see things. We go to the door, notice the door is locked, we go back to the room. That's the only option. Um, once I go to the box, I take a key, I have the key, I go to the door, and it says, the door is locked, you unlock the door, congratulations, you have escaped. I think I spelled congratulations wrong. I could fix that. Congratulations. Maybe that's right. Um, so now we have a nice, simple, playable escape room.